one. So today I have a haul. I've been collecting this stuff for quite a while. I'm um, thinking about getting back into YouTube and wanting to do this kind of a video. So um, let's just jump right in, otherwise it's going to be forever long. Alright, so the first place I went was Colette by Colette Heyman. Um, they were having a buy one get 50% off handbags. So I was in the market for a handbag anyway. Um, and so I thought, why not? So when you purchase them, they always come in a gorgeous little um, dust bag. Oop, that's the back with Colette on them. And then this is the first bag that I bought. So it's just a um, kind of a navy colour, I guess, with a little pom-pom on it. It's cute, but you can detach it if you want. Um, and inside is just one big compartment with um, a zipper on one side. And obviously it also has a strap and not just these tiny handles. And yeah, this is going to be my everyday handbag for the next little while, I guess. It's just really small and compact, but it still fits my wallet, which is giant. Um, and yeah, really like that one. And the second one I got, you have a little sneak peek of the colour here, but again, dust bag, lovely. Just in case you're not using it and you just don't want to get it all dirty. But this is the second handbag I got, and it's... I wasn't going to get it because it was half off, I just thought... I'm never going to find a bag like this. I love the structure and the hardware and it's just a really interesting colour that I haven't seen before. Normally I would never purchase something like this but I was feeling fun and um, I love a bit of colour and I think in the winter this will be super fun because I tend to wear a lot of black um, and it will be nice to just spice up an outfit with that. Alright, next I made a purchase in a uh, release from Black Milk that I think is now all totally gone, but I thought I'd show them anyway. So the first one I got is the Paper Kites sweater dress. Ooh, there it is, it's a dress. Um, and it's just super lovely. When I was like eight, I wanted to be an astronomer and then I realised I need to be really good at maths and that was never going to happen, so gave up on that dream, but I still really like space stuff. So um, yeah, I know obviously it's not like real planets on it, but that vibe and it's a toasty material so it's going to be really really warm for the winter which will be nice. And the other thing I got from that release was the placebo effect skirt which I thought was really really cute. I'm going to be moving to uni next year to become a paramedic which I'm very excited about but I thought this would be really funny and ironic to wear to uni just because I'll be among people that will enjoy this kind of a joke, I guess, so I um, thought that was really cute and it's pretty colourful and it also, oh my god guys wait for this, it has pockets, look, it has a pocket, that made me very excited because like clothes that I buy never have pockets, um, so yeah that was extra special. And while I was making a purchase of that collection I also bought a staple item from Black Milk which is their matte black bummers. They're just kind of like bike shorts, I guess, but um, a little bit shorter, like volleyball booty shorts, I guess. Um, and they're really useful for like putting under dressive, bleh, dresses if they like fly up or something or even playing sports. All right, next I placed an order on Misguided because they were having a insane sale. So, of course, I got sucked in and had to purchase some things. Um, and I'm just going to open this bag and get rid of the rubbish because otherwise it's going to make a lot of noise. First thing I purchased was this oversized um, army green t-shirt dress thing. Um, not much else to say about it, I just thought it was really cute and would be easy to chuck over leggings. Okay, next thing I got was this quilted copper A-line um, mini skirt and I just really liked this online. I thought it was really, really um, interesting and different and it's just got an exposed zipper down the back. You know the song by Cake that's called Long Jacket or Short Skirt Long Jacket? I just really wanted to be that girl in the song, so I got a short skirt, and you'll also see that I got a long jacket. This is the skirt that I envisioned, and um, yeah, so I picked that one up. Okay, must be really into army green, because I also picked up this oversized t-shirt dress, which I thought had really interesting neck detail, so I don't know if you can see that. Oh, sort of. So that goes around your neck, and that goes down, like, the middle of your chest. Um, yeah, just thought it was interesting and it was pretty inexpensive, so I thought, well, why not? I think why not quite a lot with clothes and shopping. Maybe I should rethink that one. 
Okay, next thing I got was the long jacket that I so desperately have wanted for years and years. Um, I don't quite know how to show you this because it's just going to look like a black kind of like piece of material on camera. But um, I hopefully will be able to insert just a little cutaway. Um, but if I don't, I will try and link it below. Um, but yeah, it's basically, it's like a duster style jacket and it's in like a satiny material. Hopefully that's translating on camera. Um, and it's got a tie at the back. I don't personally think I'll use the tie. I think I'll just um, leave it hanging or tie it in the back maybe to give it a bit more shape. But it's very long, like I'm 174 and this hits about my ankles. Very excited for that one. And I also picked up another jacket. Again, it's in black, so it's probably not going to translate on camera very well. But it is kind of like a cape style jacket. So you have your armholes here, and then this one goes over the top of your arms. So it still keeps you warm if it's like a bit of a chilly night, but not too chilly. But it's like very in trend with the cape thing at the moment, which I'm very much enjoying. So I thought I'd pick myself up one of those. And it also, this is really attractive. It also has a hook and eye to um, clasp it in the middle, which will give you a bit of shape. All right, who's ready for the knitwear? Who's I, I'm ready for the knitwear. So I kind of have gone a bit knitwear crazy recently. I am obviously... I... Whoa. Bring it in, Liv. Bring it in. Uh, so a few minutes ago I said that I was moving to uni next year and I am going to be moving to Bendigo which is in Victoria, Australia um, and in the winter which is the majority of the time that I will be at uni um, it's cold <laughs> so I've been kind of stocking up on winter wear while they're all out and it's all trendy and nice and um, so yeah I picked up a few knitwear items so the first one I picked up was this um, black knitwear jumper dress um it's not quite a dress on me i'm a bit too tall for this to be a dress so i will wear leggings or something with it but it's a bit of the bardo trend so it kind of falls off the shoulders which i think is really um nice so you can wear like a um a pretty sports bra underneath or nothing or you know like a just a tank top and it will just look really casual and comfy but still a little bit trendy okay so the next jumper that I picked up is a navy um, jumper dress they're all jumper dresses um, again probably not long enough to be a jumper dress on my a little bit taller than um, the model um, so this is just like a kind of open boat neck Kind of thing it's not quite a crew neck it's not a v-neck but the back is completely open into a v-neck which i thought was really really cool i just thought that was really cute like you can wear like a really like funky bralette type thing at the back if you want or you can wear nothing a little bit a little bit, a little bit foxy in your knitwear um is knitwear sexy Okay, and the last jumper dress knitwear item that I picked up was this one, and it's kind of like a, um, not a turtleneck, but like very, like, crew neck -y type thing, and it's got shoulder cutout details, which I thought was really cute, so it's, just, again, a little bit sexy, I guess, but still keeping you very warm, um, and yeah, it's just a grey colour, long sleeves, the sleeves are actually quite long on this one, so if you have long arms, this might be one to keep your eyes peeled for. So I got the High Smile Teeth Whitening Kit. It is the full kit with the LED light, gel smiles, mouth tray, results chart, and an instructional manual. I just wanted to see what it was like because I've seen so many Facebook advertisements and YouTube videos about the High Smile. Like they seem to be going over and above with their oh hello, um, their advertising and putting a lot of effort into that, which I quite like about a company if they're quite if they're confident, you know. That's, that's, exciting um but yeah this is kind of what it looks like when you get it i don't know i haven't used it so i guess i'll let you know how it goes all right we are down to the last three products and they are all from priceline love a good priceline haul in australia special day okay so as you can see i have blonde hair um <laughs> kids couldn't tell and I have previously had blonde hair before as well and um, I really liked the 
fudge um, clean blonde violet toning shampoo repurchase of a great product that I already know that I like so yeah that's that and two new purchases of two new products I believe is the Sally Hansen color therapy argan oil formula nail polishes um, I'm actually wearing the color 130 Therapeuta? Therapeuta? I don't quite know how to say that. I really like this colour. It's wearing quite well. I've had this on for maybe a week and it hasn't... Oh, it's chipped on one nail on my left hand. Um, and I also picked up the colour 430 Soothing Sapphire because I just thought it was a bit funky. It's actually got purple glitter reflex in it. Um, which is really pretty and um, yeah all right my friends that is um that's everything thank god I have a hell of a mess to clean up right now I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you very soon bye